writing letters has become a lost art. Disappointing when the letters never reach the intended person. Hi, I'm Steve Weber, and today we have a special treat. Scene 82 is actually a two scene combination, and we're going to have a total of six of these combination scenes throughout this 94 part series. Why are we doing this? Because we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the movie Forrest Gump on July 6th. Does anyone actually take the time to write a letter these days, put it in an envelope, address it, put a stamp on it, deliver it to the post office, and then wait for a reply? Forrest wrote Jenny all the time. It was his way of staying connected. I even wrote Jenny and told her all about it. I sent her letters, not every day, but almost. I told her what I was doing and asked her what she was doing and told her how I thought about her always. Today, we communicate differently. We text, email, tweet. Taking the time to write out a full letter or even a full email is becoming a lost art. And who bothers to take the time to read their emails? Writing letters like Forrest wrote Jenny is becoming a bit of a lost art. A few scenes later, we learned that all the letters that Forrest wrote to Jenny never arrived. Cooper, Larson, Webster, Gump, Gump. I'm Forrest Gump. Huddle, Nichols. Can you imagine the heartbreak and disappointment he must have felt? Johnson. There is always a disappointment when something we send is returned, a gift that is never received. Forrest had a moment of optimism when he got a big pile of letters from the, the postmaster at the Army Hospital. Turned out it was all the letters that he wrote to Jenny. Every one of them was returned. None of them reached the intended person. His moment of optimism turned to great disappointment and probably even sadness. It takes gumption to keep your chin up when you receive a big pile of disappointment. Let's all be gump-like. Let's all keep our chin up in the face of disappointment and let's all live our lives with gumption. 